Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, this week's message I've entitled, what do you do when what you've always done stops working? All right, let's jump right into this. First of all, as always, when something's not working the way we want it to work, it starts with our thought process. You know, we've heard this, and you've probably heard this uh, uh, quite often, that, you know, the mind goes before the body. So if we think athletics, when you feel you just can't take any more, it's not your body talking, it's your mind talking. Don't get me wrong, your body's probably telling your mind some messages, but they've got more in it. But once your mind goes, you're done. So in this same aspect, when something you've always done stops working, and you want to get things back on track and moving forward, it starts here. So let me give you some tips around this thought process, keeping in mind how you think is everything. All right, one, I recommend <clears throat> to think business segments, not as a whole. Sometimes we fall into the trap and we go, God, business is slow. Uh, uh, the market has changed. You know, what I've done as a whole is not working. Stop, all right? I want you to think business segments. I want you to break it down. What specifically is not working? Are you having more issues making an appointment? Are you failing at the listing presentation? Are you not building rapport um, with buyers? Um, are you now having trouble getting buyer broker agreements signed? Whatever the segment is, you need to break it down. As you think as a whole, you're not going to get to the problem if there is one. So we want to make sure you're thinking, where is my personal issue? Could be different for somebody else. All right, so break it down into segments. Okay. Next, a great way to break through any issue, all right, I call it my breakaway strategy, and that is, more activities and more conversations. Now, this is not as simple as just do more of the same thing. You can do more of the same thing. Let's say, let's say you are focused on, for example, door knocking. All right, do you want you, you choose to knock more doors? Certainly not a problem, but it doesn't have to be that same segment. As long as you're having more conversations and doing more proactive activities, I'm really not worried what type it truly is. You might add um, open houses to your repertoire where you haven't done in the past. You might add calling old expired listings when you've really only been focusing on new. You might add FISBOs where you've never done for sale by owners in the past. Whatever it is, okay, more conversations and more activities can break through any slump that uh, you may personally be feeling. And third, okay, last but certainly not least, I want you to look at the market facts of what's going on. You know, we tend to think our truth is the truth. I've talked about this in the, in the past, and this is a perfect example. Or the other mistake we fall into, not that this is a mistake, but it's certainly not going to give you a big enough overview, is we'll go to other agents that we know. Talk to me about your business. What are you feeling? Oh, I'm having the same type of challenge as you are. So you talk to another person. Oh no, I'm having the same type of challenge as you are. There it is. I've done my homework and those are the facts. Uh-uh. That is not a big enough overview for you to look at. I want you to go to your manager and say, hey, I'd like an update on what's actually going on in the marketplace. So can we get those stats? We can help your branch, your company can help you get those stats that you're specifically looking for so you can see what's actually going on. Maybe some of what you're having a challenge with is actually going on in the market. Maybe it's not. All right? Listen, we all can go through ups and downs within our business. What stops us is clarity of what we're doing and what we need to tweak and consistency in our actions. Have a great week, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.